being rainy outside. And... No! Stop pressing X to shoot! Crazy people out to get you. So my flashlight has like infinite battery life. Oh my god. They just keep coming. Any more? Oh my god. Have fun. Oh shit, oh shit. No! Oh.
Well, I am apparently a failure, even though I did exactly what it told me to do. Well, he started me here, not back at the save point. At least I know not to go the other way, because that's just infinite amount of people. Time events are freaking fast. Gives like a second. Can I go that way? Is that why you attack me? No, I can't. Something in this town. Do you feel like you're standing there? It's like daylight already. The coffee warned me about it. Yesterday morning, the milk I poured in my coffee made a sign. It said, Tomorrow you'll arrive in a place that will change your fate. <laughs> that is some very fucking informative coffee. <coughs> Damn, I'm saving. Run all that way over there. Ooh. I'm a very wet man. Apparently, there's puddles going downhill. There's puddles going up the hill. I didn't know that. 
that uh stress me out. I need to read the instruction manual, I don't know what I'm doing. Now you were very late. And you were very attractive. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. FBI Special Agent, Francis York Morgan. Please, just Obviously call me York. Obviously knows who you are. I don't think you need to whip out your That's ID. what everyone calls me. Agent York? Good, that's good. <laughs> are you the sheriff? Uh, no, I'm Deputy Sheriff Emily Wyatt. George, he's the sheriff. He went looking for you, actually. He should be back soon. I see. If you don't mind me asking, did you walk all the way here? My car broke down, that's all. <laughs> broke down. Oh, look at those graphics. Character models are okay, I guess. She's easy on the eyes. Definitely worth a trip to the primitive world. By the way, don't mention anything about what happened back there. She'll think you're a psycho. Don't want that, do we, Zach? Welcome to Greenvale. I'm the sheriff, George Woodman. Call me George. <laughs> Got some music. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, just call me York. That's what everyone calls me. Could you tell me why the FBI is so interested in a small-town homicide? Let's just say it's a personal interest in killers of young women. I'm always looking for new sample cases to help me with my profile. Both our superiors have cleared this with each other. You can remain in command. You don't have a problem with this, do you? No. No problem. Just want to set things straight. Our small town has its share of problems. I'm the one fixing them one by one and maintaining peace and order. You can have your profiling sample, but I need you to understand that. <clears throat> of course. Of course. <laughs> by the way, George, I had a little accident with my car. Could you send someone to take care of it? Oh, and my clothes and luggage are still inside. All right. Don't worry. I'll get my assistant Thomas to take care of it. Take it. Do you need anything else? Thanks. That'll be all. Well, then. So I think much I'll rest up first at the hit. hotel. Then I'll join you on your investigation. Don't know how to say that. But, uh, we really don't need your help. Unlike some of your corrupt city police officers, I play it by the book. I hope you'll come to appreciate that, Agent Morgan. Ooh. And we'll handle the investigation. You just think of this as a vacation. Take it easy. Enjoy the nature here. You don't have to be a tree worshiper to appreciate the wildlife here. <laughs> Zach, let's reassess the situation. There are no cavemen here. We're as far forward as the Middle Ages. And we've just met the king. Killed 35. Wow. It didn't seem like it was that much. 